we'll see about polyhydramnios or hydramnios and oligohydramnios Polyhydramnios or hydramnios is the defined as a state where liquor amni exceeds 2000 ml or when the amniotic fluid index is more than 25 to 24 to 25 centimeter or a single pocket of amniotic fluid is greater than 8 centimeter by USG. The amount of amniotic fluid present is controlled by fetal urination and swallowing. In sense, it is nearly 1 to 2 percentage of cases causes maternal causes constitute 15 percentage it include rhi so immunization diabetes mellitus cardiac or renal disease plasminal cause less than 10 1 percentage like plasminal chorea and geoma rare vascular tumor increase the vascularity of placenta circumvalid placental syndrome fetal constitute nearly 18 percentage it include multiple pregnancies fit anomalies like anencephaly opened by spina bifida the facial defects idiopathic 65 percentage of reason constituted idiopathic causes the fetal uni ovular monochorionic twin pregnancy one of the twin derives more blood from the common placenta grows big urinary output of this fetus contribute to the hydramnios congenital malformations like cns subnormality such as anencephaly and open spina bifida cause hydramnios by the escape of cns fluid to the exposed meninges in esophageal and duodenal atresia, absence of swallowing of amniotic fluid contributes to the hydramnios. Maternal causes GDM, irritation of amniotic epithelium by excess glucose in amniotic fluid, hyperplacentosis, and increased urinary output by a macrosomic baby. Clinical type, depending on the rapidity of onset of syndrome, it can be divided into acute, acute is rare appear in matter of few days associated with uniovular twin pregnancy and occur around fourth and fifth month develops acute abdominal pain uterus unduly enlarged tense and tender fetal parts cannot be palpated women invariably goes into abortion chronic include more common 10 times more common to the acute appear in a matter of few months occur in later half of pregnancy often is symptomatic but often complains the abdominal discomfort dyspnea and edema of the feet chronic polyhydramnios more common than the acute 10 percentage since accumulation of liquid is gradual and so patients may be asymptomatic symptomatic or asymptomatic symptoms are mainly due to mechanical causes Dyspnea is more in supine position, palpitation, edema, oliguria may result from urethral obstructions by the enlarged uterus, preeclampsia in 25% of patients. Investigation First thing we have to explore the congenital malformation. USG is useful in confirming the diagnosis. The presence of normal USG, blood sugar should be estimated. Differential diagnosis include ascites and ovarian cyst, ovarian cyst with pregnancy. Signs single patients must be dyspneic at rest. Pedal edema, evidence of PIH, abdominal examination. The inspection shows abdomen markedly enlarged, globular with fullness in the flank. Skin over the abdomen is tense, shiny with large striae. Palpitation, height of the uterus is more than the corresponding period of amenorrhea. Abdominal girth is small. Fetal parts cannot be well defined. External development is more easily elicited. Malpresentations are more common and presenting part is usually higher. Fluid thrill is present. The auscultation, fetal heart sound are not heard distinctly. Internal examination, sorbitses pull up, may be sometimes dilated and admits tip of finger through which the bag of membrane which is tense felt. At times, patient may present with complications like preeclampsia, PROM, preterm labor, placental abruption, cord prolapse. Complications during pregnancy include Eclampsia, malpresentations, premature rupture of membrane, preterm labor, and external hemorrhage or apoplexy of placenta. During labor, early rupture of membrane, cord prolapse, and uterine inertia. Increased operative delivery, retain placenta, and PPH and shock. During piperium, subinvolution, increased piperial morbidity. Fetal complications include increased perinatal mortality. Management. 
The principles of management include relieve the symptoms, find out the cause, avoid and deal with complication. Supportive therapy include bed rest, analgesic treatment of preeclampsia, intermethacin 6 hourly, 25 mg, found to decrease the amniotic fluid. Further management depend upon response to treatment, period of gestation, presence of fetal malformation, associated complicating factors. Multiple pregnancies managed conservatively by bed rest and hospitalization. Diabetes should be managed by frequent blood sugar estimation and insulin therapy. Symptomatic women with normal fetus require hospitalization. Proper position elevates the dyspnea. Diuretics and sodium restriction will not help. The pressure symptoms are so severe, then so the decompression by amniosynthesis is indicated. Not more than 500 ml, 500 to 700 ml should be removed at a time. If it, if you remove more than this, that will lead to abruptia of placenta. When the woman goes into labor, blood should be arranged and kept ready in case of PPH. Fetal lie and position should be checked. Syndosinone drip will be safeguard against uterine inertia and PPH. When the membranes are ruptured, PV should be done to rule out cord prolapse. Prophylactic methogen in the third trimester, in the third stage, and syndosinone will drip will reduce the blood loss. Serine section is required for cord prolapse, fetal distress, and abnormal presentation. The transverse lie provided the fetus appears normal. Newborn tested for esophageal atresia by passing rails tube into the stomach. Presence of tracheoesophageal fistula man is mandated urgent surgery. A woman who delivered a malformed fetus needs genetic counseling upon another pregnancy. Response to treatment, delivery at term. If it is unresponsive, pregnancy less than 37 weeks, amniosis and continue the pregnancy if possible. If pregnancy more than 37 weeks, we can induce the labor. Acute polyhydramnios, the symptoms include abdominal pain, nausea and vomiting. Signs include patients look ill. Absence of features of shock, edema of the legs, undue enlargement of abdomen, fetal parts cannot be palpated, fluid drill present. Most often, it will end up in a spontaneous abortion. To relieve the symptoms, decompression should be done. Second one is oligohydramnios, amniotic fluid volume less than 5th percentile of the gestational sac. Amniotic fluid index is less than 5 cm, single vertical pocket measures less than 2 cm. Liquor amni deficient to the extent of less than 200 ml at term is known as oligohydramnios. Etiology, fetal display mature rupture of membrane, chromosomal anomaly, congenital anomalies, IUGR, intrauterine fetal death, post-term pregnancy, maternal com it, it include eclampsia, APLS syndrome, Chronic hypertension, placental cause syndrome, chronic abruption, twin to twin transfusion syndrome, cardiovascular abnormalities. CVS is not cardiovascular abnormalities, is called chorionic villus sampling. Drugs like PA means prostaglandin synthesis inhibitors, AC inhibitors, and idiopathic. Diagnosis includes symptoms. No specific symptoms, history of leaking for vagina, post-term daily pregnancy, preeclampsia, and patient may be using the drugs, less common, less fetal movements. The signs include uterus small for date, feels full of uterus, malpresentations, IUGA. Fetal complications include abortion, prematurity in uterine, fetal death, deformity, Con con contractures, amputations, Porter's syndrome, pulmonary hypoplasia, malpresentations, fetal distress, meconium stained amniotic fluid, low of gas core. Maternal complications include increased morbidity, prolonged labor because of uterine inertia, increased operative interference because of malformations and distress of the baby. Management depend upon etiology gestational age, severity, fetal status, and well-being. Determined etiology, so rule out permanent premature rupture of membrane, targeted USC for anomalies, rule out any IUGA, in uterine fetal death, amnesis if chromosomal anomalies suspected, and test for the APLS syndrome if possible. Treatment include adequate rest that decrease dehydration, hydration oral or IV, 
hypotonic fluids temp temporarily in helpful in during the labor. Then series a serial of USG induction of labor. In case slang maturity is attained and lethal malformations are there, fetal geopardy include severe IUGA and severe oligohydramnios. Amnio infusion indications is diagnostic and prophylactic or therapeutic. Decrease in the cord compressions di dilutes the meconium. Treatment according to the cause if it is drug induced, omit the drug if it is premature, uh, premature rupture of membrane, then induction of the labor. It is preterm premature rupture of membrane, antibiotics and steroid, then we can go for induction, fetal surgeries for vesicoamniotic shunt, laser photocoagulation for TT.